So here I am, I'm inside a Toyota Corolla, other known as an A86, and this is gonna be the start of my drift build. This is my third Toyota Corolla, and I can't seem to stay away from these things. I'm gonna be turning this into more or less a track car, um, or should I say the end goal of this car is for me to take it to a track, whether it be a drift track or an autocross event, I, either one. Um, I just want to have fun with it. I'm going to record the process and make kind of a drift build uh, series on my channel because I've had so many rear wheel drive cars and uh, not many uh, content of actual drifting or anything, but uh, I think they'll be really cool. And, um, you know, I think I'm, I'm pretty amped about that. It's probably one of the best things about owning a car with pop-ups is the view, whether it's an S13 or an 86, a Miata or whatever you're into. It used to be somebody else's project, so it already has a harness, um, has a weird tack and all these gauges, and uh, obviously it's a fair share of problems. So I'm going to show you around the car and what I have, and this is the first episode. I'm not really going to do anything to the car in this first pilot episode. I'm just getting familiar with the car and uh, show you guys where it's at right now. I haven't done anything to it at all. I cleaned it, vacuumed it a little, and... Uh, washed it because it was super filthy it was the definition of a bar find a couple things missing here and there but uh it runs and drives and let me show you around the car this thing has a uh, some a harness already it's a core brew core brew whatever you want to say it and some mr2 seats um not really a big fan of the seats to be honest you know and dusty see look at that mm. Bar find. I'm definitely gonna get something that holds even better. With the harness, it also has a harness bar, so it's uh, done all right. The harness needs to be wrapped uh, the right way. Uh, I don't think this is the right way to do it, but um, some of the lengths are weird. Like, you got slack on this side and not on this side, and it's kind of awkward. It feels weird. Hideous SR5 wheel, um, which is humongous uh my my legs don't even fit here so <laughs> that's that's gross as far as gauges oil temp temperature no oil pressure <laughs> temperature uh battery rpm and your air fuel uh gauge so um and a tack light in the bottom it's not even hooked up to anything but yeah and then this car also has a uh i don't even know what this is called the b pillar brace i guess and you just wrapped it in a um this seems to be like a like a harness loom cover type thing but i don't know and some electrical tape so that's quality work <laughs> and this is the trunk of the car um no rust which is good no rust in the hatch but uh yeah the hatch doesn't stay up which is uh a sad thing and these things are expensive they're like 20 bucks a pop 20 or 30 bucks a pop but uh there's nothing there nothing exciting on the back and it has a rear brace as well shoot and then as we go to the back of the car you see this car has a little tow hitch um maximum load 1200 pounds i doubt this thing can tow 1200 pounds but uh we all can hope a little surface rust here and there uh, a lot of rust <laughs> here on the wheel wells that's why the guy painted it not really a fan of the color but i don't believe the color is going to stay here for long this blue <laughs> more rust here and a lot of uh painting and mistakes were made here so the front of the car might look a little weird but uh it's missing the little side things that connect from the fender to the front bumper they're inside in the garage but uh to put them on I need to take this front part off and I got lazy and didn't do it and here's the engine this is a 4GE silver top uh if you're into Corollas 86s you know what this is it's the the engine that they had an initial D fancy fanboy um yeah it has some ATVs but this car doesn't run doesn't run very well it's running really rich when I'm cruising and when I'm getting up to speed and not even getting on it it, uh, it it goes super lean 
and it stutters and I have to like go in neutral for a little bit, let it catch up, get rich, and then I can kind of cruise off. It has a Civic radiator, which I am not a fan of. I, I really am not. I'm gonna go with the normal full-size radiator. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure this is fine, but something inside me doesn't want me to have this radiator. 20 valve engine and an 86, but yeah, one little walk around in the car. And the coolest thing about this car is that it's an 8.6. That's the, there's, they're, they're becoming more rare now. Yeah, let me know what you guys think. I uh, have a lot of plans for this thing, so hopefully stick around. And this is, this is it. Thank you guys for watching.